Hey everybody, it's Quicken and today I wanted to do a what I got for Christmas video and yeah, I'm 25 years old but I've been watching these videos on YouTube and I thought that they were really cool so I thought that I would join in and do it too um, because this year, you know, I'm really grateful for everything that I got and I'm super excited about a couple stuff. Um, really quickly, I am making this video on New Year's Eve and I did just post a thing on my Instagram. Um, this is not sponsored, it's just a little bit from me to you on my Instagram. This is what my post said, if you haven't seen it. Um, I have way more subscribers on my YouTube than I do on my Instagram though, so I just wanted to share it too. So tonight, statistically, is the most dangerous night of the year to drive. And I just wanted to invite all of my subscribers, everybody I know, if you are drinking tonight, like have fun, if you are designated driver, whatever, if something happens to you, if you get stuck somewhere, I just wanted to provide everybody my Lyft code. And if you know Uber, Lyft is kind of like the same thing. I know it's a little bit newer, not a lot of people have heard of Lyft, so not a lot of people have Lyft. Um, so you can go on my Instagram, which is quiet cool kid and check out this post right here i have code right there and i will leave my code down at the bottom of this video as well because it is a bunch of numbers and that doesn't really help you guys but i'll leave a link down below um for like a download code and my link code is good my lift code link is good for 50 dollars. so if you find yourself in a situation if you are late out late too late and like the subway is off or something isn't running if your designated driver gets into some trouble please use my lift code it's good for fifty dollars and that will definitely get you home even if there is some surge charges or whatever please use that is there a stain on the shirt it's probably foundation okay so let's jump into everything i got for christmas um so most of you may know because of my last video on Tattoo Talk Tuesday, I got a ring light for Christmas. Um, I mentioned it in Vlogmas, I asked for a ring light for Christmas um, from my parents because my parents still ask me like, what do you want for Christmas? And for the last couple years I've been saying a trans pass for like the subway because a monthly trans pass costs around $70 which is something I feel comfortable asking for for Christmas. Um, but this year I asked for a ring light. I gave my parents one, the one on Amazon that's like $25. I sent them that link and I was like, this is all I want. So I did get it, which is super exciting. And I'm really happy for it because, you know, I tried it out on Tattoo Talk Tuesday and a lot of people said like, oh, like I like your natural lighting. It's um, too glam. It's too like beauty guru. But honestly, in Philadelphia, I can tell you right now on my phone, the sun is setting earlier and earlier. It is the winter, despite how warm it's feeling over here. And even right now, this says sunset is at 444. And that is just really early for it to become pitch black. So I do need to film with lighting for the next couple of months until it's spring and it's a different light outside. So I definitely feel you. I do feel pretty glam right now, but it was really cool and my mom is like into YouTube videos. She doesn't watch mine, but you know, she wants to watch something that entertains her and watching her kid talk. I have no idea, but my mom was pretty excited to buy me a YouTube light. She was like, all the girls talk about their lights. I was like, great. So some other things my parents got me. My mom got me this little hoodie, and it is from Arrow Pastel. Am I saying that right? So it's just like this little blue thin hoodie. It's really thin, like can you see me through it? And I thought it would be good for like kind of just some light hoodie wear. Like definitely not for the winter, Avi, but probably just like some light little boardwalk kind of hoodie or like post-workout hoodie because I do want to go to the gym. How did my mom know? So this is just this little hoodie. I think it's in a size large. It's in a size large, but I think that'll be cool. It'll be roomy. And she gave me the classic, well, you can wear it to bed. So thanks, mom. So 
other things I got, and I have some of John's presents in here too. Um, my mom got John this cooler sleeve. Which is like, I don't, you like put your drinks in here and then wear it like this across your back, like bow and arrow. But I don't know, when John opened it, he seemed to really like it. Cooler sleeve, that's all it says. Easy to clean. Who, how's it getting dirty? She also got us these like gummy kind of marshmallows on a stick. Um, we can't eat these, but I'll bring them to school and someone else will eat them too. And then my mom also got me a ton of nail polish. I told her this year, no makeup, no makeup. Please don't get me makeup. So my mom was like, okay, I'll get you nail polish. Um, and I think these are all by Revlon. And this is just a sparkle purple. And then these are kind of cool. I don't know if these are new or old. So it's nail art. One side is matte and the other side is like shimmer or metallic, whatever. And then this one is the same kind of thing. I think they both came with the same matte shade. Shiny and then matte. So this is like good purple again. And then this is like a slate. So I think that'll be cool. It's like on the same little thing here. So thanks mom for the nail polish. I don't have anything like that in my collection. And I have like nail polish storage so I can figure out how to store those. And then she got me like that kind of effervescent, is that right? Pink, standard Barbie Malibu pink, and then gold, which is cool. I'm always D for like a gold nail polish. This is called holographic. And I like these smaller sizes because really large nail polish, like this one, seem to like stay in my collection forever. So I'm like kind of into like mini nail polishes from now on. And then she got me this like owl lip balm with like a princess. And then John got pistachios in his stocking. So these are John's. Um, I'll just put those down here. So my aunt and uncle got me a Starbucks gift card and they got John a gift card for Lowe's. So that is my favorite. I love when John gets like these Home Depot and Lowe's gift cards because I know they go towards our house. So Merry Christmas working on your house. So this year, John's parents got me an H&M gift card and it says love on the card. So I was pretty excited for that. And I don't know how much it is for. It doesn't say, but it does, it is like a frozen gift card. And I guess I've, I've never seen frozen, but is that a good character? Do we like her? Do, does she relate to me? And then one of my big wins of this year, I swear, John's mom made me this scarf. And she was like, you know, I see you wearing the scarves. And it's a circle scarf, but I love the way it fits. It fits like really tight up against my shirt here, like against the like collar. I really like it. There's a girl in my class who was like, can I try that on? I was like, yeah. Continuing on. So this year, John's sister really knocked it out of the ballpark. She got me the Monarch palette by Kat Von D. And it is so, so nice. Look at all these colors here. They're all really great. And I wore a makeup look for Tattoo Talk Tuesday. I used this palette for a makeup look, but I have yet to really explore it but I think some of these colors are beautiful. And I was talking to Livia about it. This is definitely a palette like I would see at the store all the time, but I would never like buy for myself. So I think this is such a good gift because that's what gifts are about. Things that you wouldn't normally buy yourself, but would love to receive. So this is the Kat Von D Monarch palette. I don't know if this is new or old or whatever, but I'm about it. And then John's sister also got me this like really like hefty candy cane. Um, 
and it's vegan, so that is really cool. John already ate his. So, you know, I told my mom no makeup this year, so my mom got me two of these Tony Molly, like, um, masks, those, like, masks that you lay on your face, and I'm just gonna open this up. You see a lot of people, like, taking pictures of these on social media, but I've never had one before. Um, I'm pretty sure they're, like, maybe expensive, but you can see, like, it's, like, on the face right there, and I think you just lay it on the face. And I see people on YouTube, like, I take these on my flight, and I wear them on my plane, and I'm, like, I don't even want John to see me wearing this. But there's two, so John can do one, too. And then my mom got me a Dead Sea Oasis, um, mask, and, um, this feels gooey in the package. I don't know if it's a sheet mask. This woman is, like, Phantom of the Opera right here. I have a couple things from Tony Molly that I, like, love the packaging, but never use. So this will be the first, like, thing. Tony Molly thing. So my aunt got me this, like, turtleneck, but I really like the neckline. I think it's gonna be super cool. I think it kind of reminds me, let's see, it says Arizona Jeans, which I think is, like, Kohl's brand but it's like pretty long sleeve and it's not like a huge turtleneck because the only turtleneck I have right now is like all the way up here but then it's like kind of loose, I like that but this is just like a little bit, like a little bit like poet American apparel so I really like this my aunt also got me this necklace and I feel like I've seen a necklace like this before kind of looks like um, a spoon handle maybe but then like I checked out the back and it has an engraving that says uh diva which is is that what it says does it say diva I don't know like I think it's cool though I don't even know if this is the right chain for it but I like I like it like if I was wearing it right now over my scarf just like this I like that it's long, and I really don't ever wear jewelry, so I'm really trying to start. Socks for John, socks for me. If you remember our dear friend Aurora, she did the Quicken prints. If you remember those, they are right there in my room. Um, she sent me a little holiday care package, and I posted it on my Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, quiet cool kid, um, you would have already seen it, but if you don't, like I said, most of you don't, um, she sent me this, which is like a little, um, patch that she embroidered herself and made, so I put it in this frame. All of these I put in frames, she sent them in like a little envelope. So this is a print of an artist that she likes, and I think that is really cool, so I put it in this frame. And then this was the, uh card that she sent me and I just put that in a frame as well and it's like a um, little pine cone who has features that make him a reindeer so I can leave Aurora's link below she's always posting like super like hella vibe pictures and art she does and she is my favorite and I met her I met her through the Quiet Cool Kid contest, so that was really exciting. She's the best. This year, John's mom, I guess, has like a collection of vintage jewelry, and John let her pick out a couple pieces to give me, which was crazy, because um, my Christmas present from John this year, he um, was going to help me pay a little bit of my school tuition, as Christmas present so I thought like oh my god that's crazy no one's ever given me money before <laughs> um so he surprised me with another Christmas gift which I was not expecting and some of it's over here and these are like I guess vintage pieces from his mom's collection so this is like a little bracelet here with like turquoise and it has like the birds and then also these like earrings with the bells on them 
And they like really remind me of Joanna Newsom, so I'm happy to have them. I've never had jewelry before, like besides like plugs, obviously. So those are really crazy to have. Cool. Didn't expect that. And he didn't wrap them and he was so weird about it. He was like, I got you jewelry for Christmas. And I was like, oh, okay, wow, easy. You take it off a dead body? Like, you're so weird. <laughs> so, some of you know, I love bedding. I'm about that bedding life. Give me bedding or give me death. But I love bedding and my mom knows that. So my mom got John and I a comforter set and John has never had a comforter. He's only ever had like, um, like a blanket that goes in a duvet cover. He's never had like the comforter. So when I opened this, I was like, take a look. So we have this comforter set that is like, like comforter and then two pillowcases. And it's like this print, which I feel like is a recognizable print. And it's just gray like my whole life, um, which is cool, except bad timing, mom, because I did just get that Gable and Bell bed set that was on my Instagram, and I'm like all about it. Um, let me know if you want me to do a monthly favorites video, because I, that is my favorite, and I want to talk about it, but um, yeah, I, I love bedding though, and the way I was thinking, like, if we don't ever get around to using that, and we will, um, we can put it in our guest room at our house when our house is done being built at some time. Um, John told me he wanted to make like an updated house video and I was like, oh my god, I thought you hated videos and the camera. So, um, look forward, I guess, to like an updated house video. Um, if you want one, leave some comments, I guess, so John can see them and feel really good about it. And we all feel good. I've been helping at the house too. So say what you will. So when John and I opened my grandparents' present, it was really awesome. We both hugged and shook hands and cried and chest bumped. So the first thing my grandparents got us was um, this Jenga set. And it's like Jenga in a tin with like all the pieces and I haven't even opened it yet. It's like in plastic as if it was food. But when we opened this, the first thing we thought about like both at the same time was like, oh my God, like we're homeowners. We're gonna have a coffee table and we're gonna have Jenga at our coffee table. So him and I were both really excited. A tear from each of us when we opened this Jenga set and the people on the side are like the old school and I'm just there's directions on it like I wasn't born knowing how to play Jenga so John and I were super excited and even the other day I was like yo remember when we got Jenga and he was like Ugh. I think you know it's so you're gonna have people over your house, they're gonna be sitting at your couch, sitting at your coffee table. They want stuff to do. You have to entertain them. Building an entire house is not good enough for them. They need Jenga. And the other thing my grandparents got me, which I'm so excited for, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs, is this. I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? This was like my big present. It's pots and pans. Pots and pans. Grandparents got us pots and pans. I don't know what brand this is because I don't know anything about pots and pans. Um, and it's a 10 piece. It's a 10 piecer and it's non stick. And there's like a picture on it, which is like hilarious to me that it's like so non stick. Let me find it. Here it is. It's like so non-stick that this egg is just sliding off of the pan. There's no need for spatula. The eggs just slide right off. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Grandma and Pop. Like, beyond honored to have pots and pans for our home. I think that that's so 
great. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful. Like, I can't believe it. So, of course, everybody gets, like, cash for, um, Christmas. And I thought to myself, like, oh, like, if you get any cash, like, definitely save it. Like, things are gonna come up. Like, look at all these bills you have. Now you have a cat. So, none of that happened. So, I got $40 in a card. TMI. And, um, I got this bag that I really like. Let me, like, it's like a magic bag, I guess. So it's like this, and I got it from Urban Outfitters, and it's like, vegan leather. It's like this, and then you can kind of like wear it over your arm like that. Or, like, if you're about to get on your bike, like me, you can slide like that, and it closes your bag from the top, and then you can crossbody it and wear it like that. And I think it's super cool, and like, Nothing's gonna fall out, but it also has like a magnetic closure if you have to get in there really quick. And then it also had like a bag on the inside. Because I wanted to be all about that tote bag life, but I was like, people are gonna reach in there and take my tokens. So it has like this built in inside bag. And it was on sale for like $30, I wanna say? Maybe less? And it's like perfect. So. I got that for myself, and not to like talk about Urban Outfitters, but I literally got it the next day. The next day. But the Urban Outfitters warehouse is in Philadelphia, so that's probably why. John was like, they probably just drove it over here and threw it at the house. But it was crazy when I was like, I have a package from who? Urban. The next day. I'm screaming so loud on the inside. And finally, some of you may have seen this, and it's not, I don't even know if it happened on Christmas, I don't know, but our final, final Christmas gift, I guess to each other, we got a cat. And his name is Ethan, he is a baby, he was just born, he is just a little meatball in this submarine of life. Um, you may have seen him on my Snapchat and on my Instagram, and I wasn't really going to talk about him because I wasn't sure if we were going to keep him because he is a stray, but both of us really decided that we wanted to keep him. And he is my favorite little piece of life. I love him so much, my little Ethan baby. So we actually have him scheduled to get fixed in a couple weeks and get his shot and his chip. And I'm actually... Not right now, but I'll announce it anyway. Um, I'm going to be putting everything on my Depop between five and ten dollars, and all the money is going to go towards Ethan's um, like medical bills and getting fixed and stuff. And then all the extra money I'm going to donate to the ASPCA because we are having it done at the ASPCA. So stay tuned for that. I'll definitely have that on my Instagram but I already started marking everything down and then I'm gonna add a bunch of stuff for little Ethan. John is gonna donate some stuff. It's gonna be super cool. So yeah, this is my what I got for Christmas video. Super exciting. I had such a great Christmas with everybody and all of you guys wishing me Merry Christmas. Um, definitely check out my Lyft coupon, whatever. Um, and stay safe this holiday. The coupon doesn't expire, I'm pretty sure. So if you don't, if you don't do anything tonight, like me, then you know, put that, type it in your phone, and save it for a rainy day. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the warm wishes, and I hope you guys had an amazing holiday too. I love you guys. Um, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.